I'm from the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Living in that environment actually taught me to always give. What is art if, you, if you're so self-centered and you can't share things that can make them think? I was going to school to be a doctor, and I just didn't like it. I was sitting there, and I was so bored, and I was like, this is not what I want to do. So I think that going to a place where I didn't belong actually made me realize what I was born to do. I actually found out much later on that I had a gift. My dad wanted us to do what we wanted to do. My mom wasn't for it at all. She wanted me to be a doctor. And you have to consider actually the situation in Africa because the problems that we have, people say that, I mean, you're gonna starve if you're an artist. There's one person who really like pushed me to go in that direction. It's my sister. She's always pushed me because she is an artist, but she wasn't able to do what she wanted to do because she had so much pressure and being a woman in that society, you know, it's, it's hard. So she never actually went that direction actually and trying to be an artist. So I think that she saw that in me and she pushed me to keep working on it. Today I'm the one actually pushing her to go back to what she does best. I would say that we are pretty much an artistic family. I mean, everybody has know how to do something that's related to art, but nobody actually went to college for this. When I went to my Academy of Beaux Arts, one of my teachers was like, okay, from now on, you're gonna draw in two seconds. I don't wanna see you draw like two hours, five hours, just two seconds, what you call a quick sketch. I actually like the idea because you can do a lot, you know, it's just like a limited amount of time. I think a quick sketch has a lot of emotion. I've always been fascinated by computers. I knew that I wanted to do something that was going to be art but computers. And that's when I decided to learn the whole technology thing. I knew some people actually in Montreal, Canada, and I asked, well, do you know if there's a college around that I can go to? And one of my uncles was like, yeah, there's a good college actually in Vermont, Champlain College. I always say that 
drawing art is like being a psychologist. In order to be able to convey that emotion, you need to be able to see things in layers. Not just what you see on the surface, but what's beneath it. I've always been fascinated by Walt Disney's movies. If you look at them, it's all about the movement. Everything that we do, there's always a movement. If you duplicate that movement, actually, you get the essence of that person, of the character that you're trying to draw. When I was drawing, I was always looking for that movement in everything that I was doing. I like just giving information to people using what I can do. I like something that actually gonna push people actually to think what is behind the whole thing. Just trying to build something, just contribute. One day to be able actually to just share my experience and actually show other people here and in Africa and other parts of the world that if they want to do something that they can do it. They just have to to want it and to dream. <laughs>